The largemouth bass, it's one of the most targeted species of fish in the world. These fish will swallow anything ranging from bluegills and ducklings to smaller bass. This fish is in the sunfish family Centrarchidae, which includes smallmouth bass, rock bass, and various panfish like bluegills, sunfish, and crappies. These species will often gather together until the bass starts eating its friends and they get the hint to leave. Largemouth bass make seasonal movements and the most successful bass anglers know how to follow them throughout the year. As a warm water species, largemouth tend to go deep during the fall and winter, where the warmest water tends to be found. In northern lakes that freeze at the surface, the warmest water is furthest from the ice cover. During this time of year, bass will feed, but they don't need to eat a lot or very often, so their feeding efforts tend to be lazy. They'll be most likely to feed on prey or lures that move very slowly. Ice fishermen tend to have the best success with live minnows under a tip-up, especially where green vegetation can still be found. In open water, try using Nico rigs, Ned rigs, or jerk baits. As the warm spring sun and longer days heat up the water, largemouth will start to move up toward the shallows where they'll spawn. They tend to concentrate in shallow bays, creek channels, and steep drop-offs where the bass can explore the shallows but still have easy access to deep water. When lily pads start to reach the surface, you know the spawn will start soon. Females will start to lay eggs when the water temperatures reach about 60 degrees. The male largemouth will use his tail to fan the softer sediments away and create a depression with coarse sand, sticks, or gravel at the bottom. He'll wait for females here and actively guard the nest against other bass or potential predators of eggs within the nest. It's a tough life for a bass. He'll stay here and use a great deal of energy to create his nest, defend it, and fan the eggs with his fins and tail all day and night while eating very little or not at all. After laying eggs in a nest, a female will often choose to lay eggs in other nests too. Once the eggs have all hatched, the male bass will briefly guard the fry and then leave. This post-spawn period can be tricky for a while as the bass recover from the spawn, but it will soon also offer some hot bass fishing opportunities because the adults will start feeding heavily again to gain back the fat reserves they lost during the spawn. Bass will spend much of the summer in shallow vegetated areas. They'll tend to hide within vegetation, near brush piles, and in shady areas. Some of the best lures for this time of year include spinnerbaits, wacky rigs, crankbaits, jigs, big soft plastics, and topwater lures. Bass are very aggressive during the summer and will strike large baits. It's hard to find a more fun way to fish than tossing topwater frogs for bass. These baits can be thrown over very heavy cover like lily pads and brush, especially in the summer when bass are aggressive and hiding around dense vegetation. Check out our Basics of Frog Fishing video to learn all about this fun and exciting tactic. The most common prey for largemouth bass are crayfish, shad, bluegills, golden shiners, and frogs. Lures that imitate these prey items tend to be the most effective, but largemouth bass are very opportunistic feeders and will strike almost anything that moves. This bass was caught on a piece of bread from my lunch as I was targeting carp because the bass weren't biting on my lures. Bass are known to be pretty intelligent and can learn to recognize lures over time. Sometimes the best lure is the one that no one else is using. The gear needed for largemouth fishing varies a lot depending on the type of habitat that you're fishing. Bass can be caught on an ultralight rod with a tiny spinner or even a bobber and a worm, and these are good ways to get kids interested in bass fishing. But when the bass move into deep water or heavy cover, you'll need to start using heavier rods and stronger line because you never know what the bass will wrap you up in. Try weedless lures like Texas rigged plastics, large jigs, and topwater frogs. Bass bite best in the early morning hours and evening hours, so get out there early, avoid making a lot of noise, and head into the shallows. There might be a big bucket mouth waiting for you. Good luck and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.